Time is now 5.09. Hopefully it'll be a little warmer than it is this morning by the time they hit that football field. Yeah, that's right. So right around 7 o'clock tonight, the mm -hmm. sun will just be going down. It is going to be, you know, on the warm side of things compared to what we've <laughs> seen in the past few days. But as we head into the night tonight, cooling off across central Georgia. Let's take a live look over Lawrence County this morning down in Dublin. We have temperatures in the 30s yet again this morning, but luckily we're not talking about any 20s currently. 36, the current number here in Dublin. We've got 35 in Macon, 37 in Warner Robins, 36 in Roberta. This time yesterday morning, we were talking about roughly the same temperatures, one to two degrees warmer this morning, but we, this is not going to be where we bottom out. We still have a few hours before the sun comes up, so the temperature is still going to continue to fall a few degrees. One to two degrees warmer again this morning, three degrees warmer down there in Unadilla across the southeast. It is mainly quiet, not a lot of cloud cover, which means we were able to cool off through the overnight hours. Still talking about 45 down in Jacksonville this morning. Yes, it is still October, by the way. Here we go into the day today. Temperatures warming up into the 60s here by the noon hour, 63 or so. So as we go through the day today, expect the afternoon to be warmer than yesterday. We will top off somewhere near 70 this afternoon before we begin to fall back down into the 50s later on tonight. So as you're enjoying the high school football games, the temperatures will be dropping from near 70 back down into the 50s. Then through the overnight hours, not quite as cold tomorrow morning as we are right now. Temperatures only near the 40 degree mark. And then once we get into Saturday afternoon, how about 70s making a comeback? Mid 70s at that making a comeback here in central Georgia, 74 or so by about 5 p.m. Some clouds through the overnight hours into Sunday, but clearing out for Sunday morning and Sunday. Another picture perfect day here in central Georgia. Then into next week, no big weather concerns to talk about in terms of the front half of the week, but here we come on Tuesday. Our next cold front taking shape coming across the Mississippi River. Notice how it's elongated really south to north. The timing on this, the Euro has it through central Georgia by Wednesday afternoon. The GFS does not. It still has it back into central Alabama, so it's got something some figuring out to do here over the next few days as to when it rolls through central Georgia. Regardless, this is going to be a weak cold front, only a small chance of rain and not a lot of cold air behind it. So the morning's not going to be as cold here the next few mornings, and when that cold front comes through, it's not going to return us to these temperatures. So forecasting low of 33 this morning, that will be back up to 43 by the time we get to Sunday. Now we did get an update to the drought monitor yesterday. A good and bad news on this. The good news is the abnormally dry conditions, namely in southeast Georgia, not quite as widespread. Now we're only talking about 63% of the state, but up in the north northeast part of the state from Lumpkin County down towards Athens and over towards the Savannah River and Lake Hartwell pocket of a severe drought. Now the reason why we haven't seen a whole lot of rainfall. In fact, here in Macon, only about a quarter inch there on the 12th, only about a third of an inch there on the 13th. We are more than an inch below average from where we should be for this month of October. Here's the seven day forecast. Only a 20% chance of rain there on Wednesday and Thursday. So that's the only real rain chance we have over the next seven days. Otherwise, temperatures in the 70s warming into the 80s by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.